though on the dividend news, Realty Income did announce a dividend raise. Uh, Realty Income declared 0 0.2550 uh, cents per uh, share monthly, which is a 0.2% increase from the prior dividend of uh, 0.2545 uh, cents per month. Uh, this isn't a huge raise, but they did actually just raise the dividend again uh, last month. Uh, so overall, that does compound over time. So congrats to all the Reality Income shareholders. The next one was actually American Towers, which was on our list for uh, us expecting a dividend raise in the month of March. This was actually the fourth out of the five companies. They actually did not raise the dividend this month or I guess this quarter. Uh, so unfortunately, sorry about that, guys. But the last one here is Dollar General, which was on our list of the five companies. Uh, this actually wraps up all the companies we were expecting. Uh, Dollar General ended up raising its dividend to 59 cents. Uh, they were paying 55 cents, so I believe that is around about a 7% dividend raise. So congrats to all the Dollar uh, General shareholders. What's up, everybody? It's Investing Sensei here with you, episode 178 of the portfolio update so you guys already know it's sunday it's time to go over the portfolio what we bought what we sold what options we placed what options we rolled what dividends came in overall what the portfolio did and uh you know how much we grew the dividend snowball because every single sunday guys we come back and see how much we're growing this dividend snowball but uh one of the quick things i do want to mention is uh, for all of the subscribers i am planning to change my name on the channel so in case you do see a new channel name uh, don't be surprised just look forward to it and uh yeah the other thing i do want to mention to you guys is that uh, we actually just went over the total amount in income from selling options uh, for the month of 2023 or i guess not the month but for the full year we've already surpassed 2022 which if i actually pull up the google sheets uh, you guys can uh, actually see here on the options premium uh, so far for March, we've made $328.46. Uh, overall, these past three months, this adds up more than what we made in 2022. So that is pretty sweet, guys. And then we still have about nine more months or so. Uh, so we will be uh, seeing how much we make by the end of 2023. It'll definitely be exciting. But again, guys, remember it is Sunday. By the end of the video, we will see how much we grew this dividend snowball because we did always, well, I guess we always dollar cost average into the portfolio no matter what the market's doing and we're going to continue to grow these uh, monthly passively income that we have to do absolutely nothing where our active income starts converting into passive income till we can actually just sleep and we're going to be getting paid for it in our case we are actually making about 36 cents every single hour guys that is pretty sweet as well we send our portfolio to go to work for us and they get at a 40 hour work week they get about uh one dollar and 51 cents every single hour for the 40 hour work week we will eventually try to get this to minimum wage so that our portfolio can get at least paid minimum wage so we will see how long that takes but if we look at the annual dividends we are at $380.94. We're getting very close to the end of March, which uh, some of the very, very juicy dividends will be coming up, which I'll show you shortly. And if we look at the quarterly dividends, again, we are at $380.94. Uh, we are actually waiting on this last month and this will wrap up q2 q1 of 2023 so definitely exciting to see where we're at uh, right around here is where we reorganized our portfolio and concentrated on the certain positions that we want to uh, hold for the very very long time as well that is when we started adding schd the etf which we have i think about a little bit over 300 shares now so definitely exciting and again options premium here we've been doing fairly well and uh, it's very very exciting so i'll be showing you guys over that but if i show you guys here just the goals that we always come back every single week uh, we are trying to reach 20,000 subscribers so if you're new to the channel consider subscribing help me reach this uh goal uh, and then as well drop a big thumbs up on the video definitely would appreciate it but goal number two guys is 325 dollars per month on average uh, we are trying to get to this and uh, i think we will this is within our control uh, goal number three is reach $118,000 invested of my own money. 
we are at $111,301. So we are getting there and uh, over by the end of the year, we should get close to achieving that goal. Goal number four is to continue to dollar cost average $100 every single week at a minimum. I will show you guys when we jump over to uh, Schwab uh, that we did deposit at least $100 and uh, we don't really care what the portfolio is doing, what the market's doing in general. And then five uh, is to drip an additional $20. Well, I guess drip the dividend plus drip an additional $20. We didn't get any dividends this week, so we didn't have to really do that. And uh, goal number six is make about $400 per average uh, in selling options. We have definitely surpassed that, which I'll show you once we get to that part. But uh, anyways, here is the dividend payout. Uh, we are still waiting on about uh, Lockheed Martin Waste Management. Uh, NVIDIA and Union Pacific to pay us out the dividends and uh, that will wrap up the month of March and then I'll show you guys how much we made in total completely passive income from these great companies where we had to do absolutely nothing and again we did get a very very awesome dividend raise from waste management this past quarter so that is helping with the compounding way way more there but uh, anyways yeah guys uh, let's go ahead and jump over to uh, the portfolio so you'll see here that the portfolio is at hundred ninety two thousand eight hundred and fifty dollars and fifty three cents you see that we are down about one thousand six hundred forty four dollars and thirty eight cents which comes about to be 0.85 percent in the red on the two-year change we're still up in the green about four thousand seven hundred forty dollars and twenty nine cents which is about two point five two percent if we look actually back around October You'll see that we were in the red, guys. We continue to dollar cost average. Uh, in the long term, our portfolio will go up because we are invested in very, very great companies. As if I show you guys here the positions, you'll see that uh, we are up 49.23% in the green. We've been continuing to dollar cost average and it's been working great for us. Uh, $53,653.48 is what it comes out to be in capital appreciation that we have not uh, actually cashed out on and uh, if we look at the cash balance here we do have about three thirty thousand two hundred and one dollars uh, available to deploy this is will mostly go into SCHD and if I show you guys here the uh, positions you'll see that we do have two covered calls on Apple with a strike price of $140 that will expire next uh, Friday on the 24th of March uh, you'll see that Apple's trading about $155 uh, and so we are in the money on this one so we'll have to manage it next week and we'll see what happens with that one we do have available JP Morgan and Altria uh, for next week to sell some covered calls so that we can collect some extra premium and then we do have Microsoft which Microsoft just went on a roll last week and uh, it went up so I had to manage to trade I ended up rolling until the 31st of March all the way and then strike price 270 so we'll see what this one hap what what it does in general if we get a nice pullback we'll be able to uh, actually let this expire worthless we'll be able to buy it uh, for a couple pennies and then Nvidia you'll see we are still managing this one we are this one's super deep in the money uh, and then uh, we have been rolling up uh, over the long term. Uh, then we do have Starbucks, Lockheed Martin, Visa, Costco, Union Pacific, and Waste Management, which I am trying to get to 100 shares for these companies, which will enable us to start selling some covered calls because this is quite a bit of money that we could start using uh, to collect a couple crumbs. And remember, a certain percentage uh, over 12 months does add up for a long term and uh, does compound because you reinvest it back into the portfolio and it just helps it grow much much faster and uh, remember options is a vehicle to achieve or you know accelerate the achievement to reach uh, fire and uh, that is what we're trying to do you'll see over here that we do have SCHD which uh, we have about 339 shares now we are down actually which is good right guys because we are going to continue to buy this and uh, we're going to continue to dollar cost average on the way down i really hope that we actually go down even further uh, which i was selling some cash secure puts that did expire worthless so we got to just keep the premium there so that was very very sweet if i show you guys here the performance uh, you'll see that uh, 
We are actually down about $283.62 in the red, uh, which is not a big deal, guys. I would actually prefer, prefer to be down here where we were back in October. I would prefer that because our, uh, you know, $100 that we dollar cost average every single week would have more buying power because we would be able to buy a little bit more of the shares. And uh, yeah, if we look at the rate of return, which is at 0.31% uh, in the red, uh, we are down a little slightly, not worried. I actually hope we go down more. Would prefer to see a lot more red. And then if I show you guys here the investment income, we are projected to make uh, roughly about $3,231.74, which comes out to be about an average of about $269.31 per month. Uh, you'll see April, we're projected to make about $265.04, and then May, $109.00. And then on June, which would be about $433.26. That would be pretty sweet there. If I show you guys here the history, you'll see that we did start it uh, from March 13th, 2023, all the way till uh, this week. And uh, if I scroll to the very bottom, we can go ahead and get started, guys. So the first one that we actually did, guys, was on the 13th of March. We actually bought, uh, actually, Really, in reality, we bought 10 shares of SCHD here at about $71.38. We spent about $700 there and uh, we bought some more. And then we're going to continue to accumulate more SCHD. And then on the 13th as well, I did a sell to open. We did a covered call on Microsoft for a strike price of $267.50. That expired on the 17th of March. Uh, Microsoft was trading about $255 or so at the time. So we it did make a huge move uh, at the end of the week. But we did sell that one covered call. They paid us about $57, almost $58 there. And then uh, we actually did also on the 13th, we did a sell to open. We actually sold a uh, cash secured put on SCHD for a strike price of $69. Uh, that expired on the 17th of March. Uh, they paid us $34 or $35 here. So what this means is that if SCHD uh, had closed uh, below $69 on the 17th of uh, March, we would have had to buy 100 shares of SCHD at $69 per share. So that's roughly about $6,900 and uh, we got to keep the premium. But uh, since SCHD uh, actually closed above $69, uh, we actually just got to keep the full sh uh, premium, plus we got to get our collateral back, which is $6,900 back. I'm gonna continue to sell cash secured puts and uh, eventually we'll get assigned of some more SCHD. So that would be a very, very juicy, uh, you know, type of income that we can collect on our cash while we try to accumulate more shares. And uh, the next one here, actually on the 13th as well, we did a sell to open. Uh, we sold a covered call on Altria for a strike price of $49, which also was a weekly that expired on the 17th. Uh, they paid us about, about $5, almost $6 there. And we also did on the 13th a uh, JP Morgan uh, covered call at a strike price of $141. That also was a weekly that expired on the 17th. Uh, then we actually collect about $22, almost $23 there. Uh, we actually, on the 14th, we did a buy on Costco. So we reinvested the Target dividend we got. We bought some more at Costco since we don't have Target anymore in the portfolio. On the 15th, guys, we ended up doing our dollar cost average of $100. So we deposited $100 there. We got a dividend, I guess, an interest payment from our cash uh, on the, you know, from Schwab. And then on the 17th, we actually bought some more SCHD, so I bought uh, two shares at about $70.44. This is uh, actually using the $100 we deposited, and then a little I used a little bit more from our uh, available cash there uh, to actually get two full shares. And then uh, on the last one we did, we actually had a roll or a Microsoft because it just moved up so high there, uh, so I didn't want my shares getting taken away. So I did a buy to close. Uh, we bought back the covered call we had at $267.50. That expired on the 17th. We paid about $1,195.66. And uh, we, then we did a sell to open. Uh, so we rolled the call. We went up about $270 uh, strike price. So we went up in strike price. 
and then we also went further out in time so till the 31st of uh, March uh, they paid us $1,324.33 so the difference is what we got to keep in premium from this role we'll see what happens with Microsoft guys when we're going to continue to manage these and uh, yeah that was such a huge move from Microsoft uh, but uh, yeah this is what I have on the history let's see how much we made in dividends which unfortunately we did not collect any dividends this week but oh well we did sell some options so that hopefully will help us try to accumulate more shares of these great companies uh, but uh, let's go ahead and uh, jump over to the Google Sheets so we can uh, show you guys how much we made in total uh, so again I already have well I guess I need to make a copy of this so uh, we can see the difference once we kick off the scripts and uh, that way it'll be awesome to see how much we grew the monthly dividend income there uh, but if I show you real quick remember the options premium here so far for March, we're at $328.46. If I show you guys here the options, you'll see that uh, for the, I guess, 2023, so far we're at $3,552.54. Uh, last year for 2022, total in the past couple months, we made $3,544.53. So we finally surpassed it in three months. That is pretty sweet, guys. Hopefully we can continue to keep this track and uh, we still have all these months left to see how much we can accumulate and just selling options on our shares that we do have selling cash secure puts and uh, we'll see we still have two more weeks for the month of March so I'm definitely excited to see where this ends up being hopefully we can get around where February that'll be a very consistent goal there and uh, yeah if I show you guys here the dividend payout we can uh, actually kick off these scripts uh, to see if any new companies declare dividends so uh, again 39 there go to portfolio tools get latest dividends give it a second or two and uh, then it'll wipe everything and it'll go out and see if we got anything that uh, anybody announced and uh, I believe uh, we got Microsoft here and uh, yeah that is pretty sweet there uh, but that is all we have guys we're going to be getting next week a couple juicy dividends for uh, the portfolio and uh, we will be able to reinvest those and uh, buy more shares but uh, if we go over here to settings we can go ahead and delete this and uh, then we can jump over to uh, I believe it's called empower so that we can get the latest uh, version of our portfolio that contains the purchases we made this past week so I'll see you guys over there all right guys so we're here at empower uh, under the schwab account for me you'll see this green button click on it that copies the content of the clipboard or i guess the content of the portfolio into my clipboard then we can jump right over here uh, right click pay special values only uh, and that should have our latest copy if we go to holdings uh, this is the one from last week but we'll go ahead and portfolio tools get latest get a update portfolio holdings once you click on that this will get wiped and it'll use the stuff we just pasted so there it goes and uh, we can jump back over here to the dashboard you'll see everything is being calculated and on the yield guys we are at 1.64 percent so it's gone up some and that is because the portfolio did move slightly down this week on the yield on cost we're actually at 2.91 percent compared to 2.87 percent from last week so that's pretty great there uh, yearly we're projected to make about three thousand one hundred sixty eight dollars and sixty one cents on the month about two hundred sixty four dollars and five cents so we went up about uh, what three dollars there on the week we are projected to make about sixty dollars and ninety three cents we're getting close to about sixty one uh, sixty one dollars on the day uh, we went up about uh, what nine pennies so that is pretty cool there on the hour we're still making about 36 cents every single hour but the 40 40 hour work week guys this it actually did go up we're projected to make one dollar 52 cents uh, every single hour that the portfolio goes for an hour work 40 hour work week so they got a raise I guess the portfolio was doing very very good eventually we're gonna get this to minimum wage we'll see how long that takes but uh, this is actually all I have for you guys. Uh, don't forget to subscribe with that notification uh, as well. Drop a big thumbs up on the video. Definitely would appreciate it. And if you stuck all the way to the very end, be sure to drop a hashtag DCA because we're going to continue to dot cost average into the portfolio. Even if the market's up, down, 
no matter what it's doing, we're going to continue to dollar cost average for the long term and we'll see how that pays in the long term. I, th I think we're going to get some pretty sweet returns, but we will see what happens. I will talk to you guys later. Take care. Stay safe out there. Bye, guys.